Hello and welcome to my Word Hero review. In this Word Hero review, I'm going to do a complete Word Hero demo for you. I'm going to show you, take you inside the Word Hero members area, and I'm going to show you exactly how Word Hero works. So I'm going to go ahead and start in the Word Hero uh, dashboard. Um, Word Hero right now is uh, giving a lifetime deal on AppSumo. So um, I recommend that you go ahead and check that out. It won't last forever, guys. So make sure you check that out down below in the description box. The link, direct link to AppSumo is down below. Um, that uh, Those things don't last forever. So um, make sure you check that out. It's actually for unlimited words per month. So you don't get that very often in a uh, content writer anymore. So what is Word Hero? Word Hero is a complete AI content writer. And uh, with your help, Word Hero can make really, really awesome blog articles for you. So it does all of this stuff here. Let me scroll down and I'll show you exactly what it can do. It can do uh, copy aid, AIDA copywriting. It's really, really good for marketers. If you're a marketer and you are struggling writing copy, you're, running, you're struggling writing sales pages, you're struggling writing emails, you're struggling writing articles for your blogs, this is going to make a world of difference for you. It's going to take all the hard work out of copywriting it's going to save you a lot of time it's going to save you a lot of money by hiring VAs to do this stuff so um, it really is worth checking out um, you can do blog headlines blog intros so you can actually search here so if I if I search and I go I search for blog so say I want to do something with a blog I want to make a blog um, make an article for my blog so you can do all of these with this you can do blog intros blog headlines blog give you ideas for blog topics blog conclusions and blog outlines um, and let me just kind of scroll down here that way you can kind of get an idea of what it does uh, you can do things with books, book descriptions, and book titles. Uh, it'll give you ideas for brand names. If you're wanting to start a company, wanting to start a brand, and you don't have an idea for a name, it'll, it's going to give you ideas. It's going to give you a bullet point expander. You put in the bullet points, and it's going to expand on them for you. It will rewrite content. There's two versions of rewrite content. One is a version two that's in beta, and one is the regular. It will actually rewrite content for you. It's kind of like an article spinner. Here's cold emails. If you uh, do cold, if you do emails, this will be a way to do cold emails. Uh, cover letters. Um, you can actually do uh, like things on Fiverr, Fiverr gigs, and do uh, and, and write cover letters for people. And you can do all kinds of stuff on here just through Fiverr with Word Hero. Um, email subject lines. Explain it to a child. Explain it like a professor. Um, it, it's going to help you with FAQs. It's going to help you with Facebook ads, Google ads. Um, it can help you do listicles and marketing ideas. It's even got a grammar corrector in here. Um, it, it'll help you with a personal LinkedIn bio if you're having problems with that. A, uh, it'll do a PAS copywriting formula, a pain agitate solution copywriting formula, perfect for marketers. Um, it's going to give you some offer ideas. Um, so product names, product reviews, core answers. It will answer core questions for you. So just type in the, the question on core and it's going to give you an answer. It's really, really cool. Product descriptions, SEO descriptions, uh, sentence expander, video descriptions. So this is YouTube stuff. It's going to help you write your video descriptions. It's going to give you video topic ideas. It's going to give you titles for your videos. And uh, about us, the About Us page on your website, are you stuck on that? This will do it for you. And also, welcome emails. And there's some stuff that I skipped in here, so um, you can uh, pause the video at any time and uh, kind of glance around at the page while I was on it. So, And all you have to do is to use any of these is to, is to um, uh, blog topics. So I'll do a blog topic here and blog description. So... What is my blog description? So um, I want to do, um, let's do fishing tips and tricks and product reviews about fishing. Okay, so, and we'll see 
we'll write a blog description and we'll see what, what this comes out with. So it doesn't really take that long, as you can see. Um, well, it's not going to write the blog description. I put the blog description in and it's going to write the blog topic. So here it is, the basics of fishing, international fishing tournaments, nations in the Olympics for fly fishing, the best fishing spots in the country. That's a good one right there. Why you should go fishing this week. Who knows? Who knows more, your dad or you? <laughs> so um, here's some blog topic ideas on what you can do for fishing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to use that as my uh, sample article that I'm going to do for you. So all of these things are amazing. So all of them are amazing. But the really powerful thing about Word Hero here is the editor. It has a long form editor. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Jarvis. If you're familiar with Jarvis, Jarvis has a long form editor that will help you write content. It's called boss mode in Jarvis. If you've ever used that, this is very comparable to that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this editor up here. So go click on editor and it's going to come up with an editor. It kind of looks like Jarvis, but it's not Jarvis. So, uh, or Jasper, I should say, I think they recently changed their name. Jasper, I keep forgetting that. Um, so you can use all of these here if you want while you're still in the long form editor. But the really cool thing is I'm gonna paste my title where it says title. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in. And I'm gonna capitalize that just because I can't stand it. Okay, the basics of fishing is gonna be my blog title. So um, I can use these things. What I can do is I can search for blog over here and I can use these blog conclusions, blog headlines, blog intros, blog outlines. And you may want to do that while you're doing this, but um, everything that you need is right here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this um, button here and it's going to give me a blog outline. Actually, um, I'm going to do the blog intro first. Now I'm going to do the blog outline because sometimes it gives me an introduction at first. So I'm going to click this button here and it's going to give me a blog outline directly from the title that I put in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to do its thing. It's going to go ahead and, 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 and write, it's going to write it out right here in front of me. So um, we're going to see exactly what it is. Okay. Introduction, fishing for food, fun, relaxation, rods, bait, boat, what to look for when choosing a rod or line, fishing tips for beginners, and it's going to give me a conclusion. Fishing is easy and all you need is a rod. Um, I'm going to take this out. And then, you know, if you want more, all you have to do is do it again. Just click down here, click the button again, and it's going to give you some more. And you can use it too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out, paste it. Actually, we'll just do fishing techniques. So, and, and this really gives you ideas too. And we'll do We'll just take this out and then we'll do, um, we'll just do that for now, just so that you can see. Okay, so introduction. The basics of fishing. That was something that I got rid of. I wanted to keep it, but okay. So introduction is the basics of fishing. So. What I can do here is I can um, go down to the next line and then what I can do is I can highlight this. So either I can do one of two things right here. So I can let it do an, an introduction, a blog intro. So let me do that first. Let me just hit this block, hit this uh, rocket ship here and it's going to write a blog intro introduction. So um, fishing is a relaxate, relaxing way to spend a day at the lake. It's a great hobby for kids and adults alike and can require some skill if you want to catch bigger fish. If you want to get into fishing, here's some basics that will help you get started. 
So, and it really went off of the introduction, the basics of fishing. So, um, we're going to keep that. And what I can do is I can go ahead and highlight this and I can do all my headings here. So I can do an H2 right here. And this even tells you how many words that you have so far up here in the right hand, upper right hand corner of the screen. So what I want to do now is I want to use this as a uh, heading and um, I want to write about, I wanted to write about that topic. So what I'm going to do here in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to um, hit this write more button. So what this write more button does is what I can do one of two things with this button. I can click here and I can have it write more, write more of the introduction. So if I click that right there, it's going to write more on this introduction. Okay, it wrote, it wrote a little bit more. So um, that's one thing that I can do with that button. So what I, else I can do with that button, what I really like about this button here is I can um, put my cursor down here underneath. I can also highlight what I want it to write about. So I want it to write about what to look for when choosing a rod or line. Then I'm going to click that button and then it's going to write about that. It's not going to take that off the off of my uh, screen, but it's going to write about that. So I'm going to click it again for some reason. Okay. Oh, it's got to be write more after cursor highlighted text. Minimum 50 characters. Okay. I clicked the wrong button here. I knew something was up. Okay, so I need to, needed to click on the um, the blog intro button here, and then it's going to write about that heading. So as I can see up here at the top, it's going to uh, go ahead and write about that. Fishing is an outdoor activity. It can be enjoyed by the entire family. The rods and lines or tackle can be intimidating at first, but there are a few things to keep in mind when selecting one for your next outing. The best way to pick the right rod or your skill level is to find out what type of fishing you will be doing most often. And then what you'll do is you'll just keep going. I'll make this an H2 and you'll just keep doing that uh, the, the whole way down through your article. And um, and that gives me an idea how to how to pick the right rod to pick the right fishing rod for your skill level. Okay, I'll post that, highlight that, hit the blog intro, and it's going to write about that. Best way to find the right fishing rod is to take your skill level and how you plan to fish an account. The most common types of fishing that beginners to continue are freshwater and saltwater. There are two main types of rods that a beginner could use. Spinning rods and fly fishing rods. Spinning rods are ideal for beginners who want fast place paced action. Okay, so I could take that out and I can make this another heading if I want to. Or I could keep that in. I could put spinning rods and then um, I could put fly fishing rods. You know, the possibilities are endless and it really, really helps you to, um, to write a really good long form article. Right now I have 252 words and I'm really just getting started with it. So um, the, the possibilities are endless with you with this. Um, like I said, with Word Heroes, App Sumo Deal right now, if you're really interested in, in picking this up, you want to take advantage of the App Sumo Deal that's going on right now. Um, I don't quote prices in my videos, but um, take take a look at the uh, link below. Click on that link below. It's going to give you the 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 uh, most up to date price for um, the App Sumo Deal. Um, so make sure you click on that. Get this deal while it's still out. It's unlimited words right now. Unlimited words. You don't see that very often. You don't see that with Jasper anymore. Um, Jasper, when I first started with uh, Content AI, Jasper was unlimited words. Jasper ain't like that anymore. So um, 
Word Hero is kind of like a, a newer service. So also with Word Hero, if you want to uh, go ahead and see what they're uh, cooking up in the roadmap, you can go ahead and click on roadmap right here. And it will show you exactly what they have planned. They're planning an SEO keywords generator, a paragraph summarizer, a con conversation gener generation between two people for a given topic, uh, Pinterest pin and title description. So uh, they're doing work and they have work in progress, what they're doing for their next release, um, what's just completed. Um, they've got bugs in there, bugs that have fixed. So um, they're really, as you can see with this page here, they're really making a really big effort of upgrading this and making tweaks, bug fixes, and doing new things. So um, get the app Sumo deal because it gives you all of the future upgrades that they do as well. Now, something else with the um, with the app Sumo lifetime deal, um, the app Sumo lifetime deal will give you access to the um, Word Hero content right here. So this is what the Word Hero um, App Sumo deal gives to you. However, once you have purchased that and you have your account with Word Hero, it's going to give you the option, an optional upgrade to the editor, which is this editor right here. I highly recommend that you get that because that's going to give you the option to do all the long form uh, editing with Word Hero. So I hope you enjoyed my Word Hero review. If you did, make sure you click the like button below this video. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing more reviews like this later on. So I um, hope you found this video informational and it helped you make a purchasing decision. Please be sure to comment below um, if there's something in particular that you liked or if you have any questions about Word Hero, I'll be glad to answer them for you. Make sure that you comment down below in the, in, in the comments. So thank you for watching this the whole way through and I'll see you in the next video.